Good morning, dear students. Today we are going to do a quick recapitulation of whatever we have studied in chapter one, which is place value. Children, let us solve few fill in the blanks. The first fill in the blank says that write two lakh fifty thousand nine hundred thirty six in figure. Now, in figure means we are talking about in numbers. Children, let's write down in numbers. It's two lakh. So I'll write two lakh. Fifty thousand. Okay, let us write down fifty thousand. Nine hundred thirty-six. So it is nine hundred thirty-six. Okay. Now let's come on the next question. We need to write down the before number of four lakh. Now, as you know, to find out the before number of any given number, we subtract one from it, right? So, children, to find out the before number of this given number. We are going to subtract one from the given number. Now, this becomes as nine 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 three. That is three lakh ninety nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine. The next question says that we need to find out the after number of one lakh ninety nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine. Children. To find out the after number of any given number, we are going to add one, right? So this becomes ten, 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 and two. So just two lakh is my after number of one lakh ninety nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine. Now let's see the next question, children. In this question, we need to compare. Now to compare two given numbers, we are going to check from the highest place value of the given number. So as you can see over here, my first number, which is written on the left hand side, has ninety two thousand, and the one which is on the right side also has ninety two thousand. So we are going to check the next place, which is hundreds place. Over here it is ninety two thousand five hundred six, and over here it is ninety two thousand fifty six. So What I can see that five is bigger than zero, so my sign will come off this side. Now, let's see the next question. Form a greatest five-digit number using the digits. Now they have given us the digits, children, and they are asking us to find out the greatest five-digit number. As you know, five-digit number that means we need to find out the five places of the number. One, two, three, four, five. Now, to find out the greatest number, what are we going to do? We are going to arrange the given numbers in the descending order. So here, the greatest number is seven, then five, four, three, and one. Now, similarly, if I want to form, as it is given in the next question, about the smallest six-digit number, I am going to first draw six places: one, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm going to arrange them in the ascending order. Now, ascending order means over here the smallest number is zero, but I can't keep the zero at the first place. Yes, you are absolutely correct. We cannot keep it because then it becomes a five-digit number. So instead of that, I'm going to keep one. Then zero comes on the second place. Then I have two, three, eight, and nine. The next question says that form a greatest and smallest five-digit number using four eight zero with repetition. Now, one time I have to make a greatest number, children. One time I have to make a smallest number. Both the time we are making five-digit number. So it is one two three four five. One two three four five. Okay. For the greatest number, I can as I as I know that in the question I can repeat the digits. So it can be eight, 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 four, zero. And for the smallest, as I cannot keep zero at the first place, so I am going to keep four, zero, 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 eight. So I got my greatest number also and my smallest number also. Hope you understood, children. Let's see the next question now. Okay, so now the question I have is round off six seventy two to nearest ten and nearest hundred. Children, nearest ten when we are talking about. I have 
672 672 now i know that 672 lies between either 70 or 80 but the center number will be 75 and 72 lies somewhere in between 70 and 75 so it will be rounded off to 70 so this becomes 670 for nearest 10 and when i'm talking about nearest 100 i can see that 672 lies between 600 and 700 so over here 672 is after the middle number which is 650 so it round off to 700 okay in the next question children i have to add two roman numerals now the value of the first new Roman, num Roman numeral is x which is 10 and the next number is 10 plus 1. Number written on the right hand side of a given number adds to the given number. So that means it becomes 10 plus 1, 11. So when I am going to add these two, I am going to get 21. So I, But I have to write down this 21 in the Roman numeral. So I am going to write it like 10, 21 as my answer. Okay, let's see the last question. Count in hundreds. So, now I have to make a sequence of number by adding 100 every time, right? It's 43, 810, then 43, 910. What am I going to do? I am going to add 100 to this. What I will get? I will get 0, 1, 10, 4, 4. So, this becomes 4, 4, 0, 1, 0, which will be read as 44,010. When again I am going to add 100 to it, I will get my next number which will be 44,110. I hope you understood children. Now let's see some other questions. Okay, now let's see this question. It is arranged in ascending order. Over here, children, we have to arrange the given number in ascending order. Ascending order means from smaller number to bigger number. Now, let's see the numbers over here. I have 40,196, 14,691. Now, note over here that one number is 40,000 and another one is 14,000. Obviously, 14 is smaller than 40. Okay, then again I have 14,961 and 40,961. First, I am going to search for my smallest number. Now, the smallest number will be among these two, either 14,691 or 14,961. Children, on the hundreds place, I have 6 over here and over here I have 9. So, 6 is smaller, so this will be my first number. This will be my second number. Now, out of these two 40,000 terms, I will take a number which is smaller. Now, I have 196 over here which is smaller. So, this is my third number and this is my fourth number. So, we can write this number in the ascending order. Next question says that we need to arrange it in descending order. Now, descending means we have to arrange from bigger number to the smaller number. So, I will see over here the numbers given to me are 19,672, then 90, 90, 90,432, 90,251 and 19,190. Children to search for the biggest number over here. So, it is 90,432, then 90,251. Then 19,672 uh, and finally 19,190. Uh, so like this you are going to write down the number below properly to show the ascending and descending orders. The next question says that you need to represent on Abacus. Now the number which is given to you for Abacus is 103154. This you need to represent. Now to represent this, we are going to draw first an abacus. Right? 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So you will draw 4 circles on this. For 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. For 1, you will draw only 1. For 3, you will draw 1, 2, 3. For 0, you are not going to draw any circle. And for 1, you are going to draw 1 circle. This represents your abacus 
where you can write down this as ones, tens, ones, tens, hundreds, thousand, ten thousand and lakh. Hope you understood children. Now we are going to do one last question which is this. Okay, now in this question it says that write the expanded form of 59,368. Then we have to write down the place value of 9, face value of 6. Also, we need to write down its number name before and after number. So, children, let's see the expanded form. Very easy to write on the expanded form. Write on the first number and then rest of the places 0. So, this becomes 50,000 plus 9,000 plus 300 plus 60 plus 8. Talking about the place value of 9, so you can see over here 9 is having place value as 1000. So it becomes 9000. The face value of any number remains the number itself. So face value of 6 will be 6 only. Talking about the number name children, using the number and the place value, we can easily write down its number name. But remember to write down the correct spelling. So this is 59360. 8. To find out the before number, we are going to subtract 1 from the given number. It becomes 59,367. And to find out the after number of any given number, we are going to add 1 to given number. So, it becomes 59,369. I hope you understood children. All the best. Practice and be prepared for your exams.